All right, we ended making the top front frame tube. And then we had the swing arm frame tube. We've connected those two. So now we're going to make part three. And this is going to be the top harness tube. This is what the, it's going to go across here. There's going to be two parts with a connection in between. And that's what we're going to connect the harness to. So that's our next piece to create. This is 7.21 inches long or 7.22 almost seven and a quarter so we'll uh, our threads are going to be two inches long I know you see variation there but we're going to keep those at two inches and this is a three-quarter inch tube even though that says point seven three here that's what we were 3d printing so it would fit inside the tube we don't have to worry about that switch we'll go to the next part which I believe is the connection between these two because we'll need that to assemble it onto the frame so it'll be long enough all right so we want two inches of threads so we got two inches on either end let's go ahead and mark that I should be able to thread that down to the two inch mark so you can see the two inch mark there We'll thread that down on each one of these. It's just the hard part is getting these started. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy to do. So we may have to do this one in this direction. I don't have enough space to squeeze that without damaging the threads. All right, so we got that one done. We're going to repeat the process with this one. So there's our two inch mark. That we had already measured. And now I'm going to run this down on there, get these threads to form. Same process as before. Two inch mark. Eh, can't really see it very well. We're almost on it. Just going to do another couple turns. That should put us on there. So now I'm going to run that off. So we've got these two parts made here. And these are going to go into a connection. So this is done. Let's go to part four. All right, so this is going to be part four. This is our top harness and spar connection. So what you see is this is going to be three inches long here. So we'll cut one of those one inch pots three inches long. It's an inch in diameter. We're gonna drill a half inch hole and then we'll thread that. These other two are just for pins or a quarter inch. So we'll just use a quarter inch drill on the drill press and then we'll thread the inside. Right here, these are gripping, but they're not gripping like they should. See, I can thread those in, but I think and you don't have to change it up right now. See, that's fitting in there pretty good right now with just with those threads. So that's going to work. But I think it would be easier just to do the larger threads throughout the whole thing. So if there's a change I would make, that would be it. Um, but right now... <laughs> NC 10 threads. Let's get it started. It'll level out. This one's pretty easy to get started inside of a tube. Let's just thread it down pretty far. Alright, so we've 
threaded both of those on, we need to drill a hole for the spar an inch and a half into this because this is three inches long. So we're going to go right at an inch and a half. And that's where we're going to drill. Put a little oil on there. So what I had to do here is this piece I had already cut to three inches. I should have drilled this hole first and then cut it. But live and learn. So I took one of those three quarter inch pieces, threaded it into that, and then locked it into the tube cutter to keep it level. Without bending the pipe, hopefully. Right, let's, let's at least get this started. And once we feel like we've got it started, then we'll put the level on top of it. And level out those first few threads. up yeah all right there I'm feeling tension now so thread these in really good down here at the bottom make sure everything is lined up so what I did was I flipped that over because this part wasn't drilled out enough I drilled it out and now I'm just running it down. Everything should be even now. This one's gonna be adjusted anyway. What I mean by that is we'll be able to rotate this back and forth. So as long as this is centered up, lined up, and that the spark and thread into it will be good. All right, smaller threads. These are the, but these shouldn't cut as deep. Let's see if we can cut us some threads without breaking the tube. Yeah, these don't look like they're as deep. And I think I can apply more force. We don't need very many. Because this is just going to be a test. That feels strong. My worry was that it would weaken it too much, but that feels pretty good. Looks like it's threading in pretty good. Yep, it's threaded through to the other side. So maybe an inch and a quarter so that we don't have this little piece sticking out. I don't know, that might be good for a pin or something. So how this is gonna work is when we have it up on the frame, we'll be able to adjust the angle just to where we want it and that'll be in there nice and secure this is the frame that we the threads that we made last time so we're going to thread these on so I'm threading this one in I've already got that one run down I've got this run all the way over this is going to come up and then that's going to allow us to put the spar up here and that'll allow us to pin these in. So we still have the quarter inch holes to drill. All right, so I'm gonna wait before I drill those quarter inch holes that you saw there, because I wanna have it fully assembled, have it at the angle that I want. I think it would be too difficult to kind of determine the angle until we have the hoop segments on. So we're, anytime we come up to anything that needs to be pinned, I'm gonna wait and then we can do that later on. 